uh, FYB, FYB is a good ass nigga. I heard, I keep hearing that this nigga is really cool. Yeah, he, uh, like a good dude. He's telling the stories. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Something else, man. I got my people that I deal with, and y'all, hey, y'all, everybody look for y'all on this channel. Mm. You gone too long this time, Rain. People, of course, a lot of people glad, but. What made you? What you? What made you cut back a little bit? You were just going. You were that FBY, that boy. That's who you was with. Yeah. You left. I thought you wasn't coming back. Uh, not that y'all seem like y'all was. Y'all was cutting up over there together. The album coming out. What he got to do with that? I had to get back grounded. Oh, so you just wasn't getting in the hardly much or nothing. But then I come back to where, where the where the foundations lay. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with this I, guy? What's I, his I, name? FB. Yeah, NYBJ. I, I, I was at the Grammy. I was at the Grammys, and I'm sitting there the whole time thinking my head. And people were like, "This girl sitting next to me." She was like, "What is you thinking?" And I'm sitting there today, like, and I let all thinking about th and things about my head is, I got to leave this grant, leave the Grammys, and go get on Big D channel <laughs> later on today with Hellcat. <laughs> That's all I think I was thinking. I'm sitting there thinking about in my head. Man, R.I.P. to Big D. Big D, I, I kept saying, ooh, I can't wait to get on Big D channel. I'm, I'm getting my speech together. You know what I'm saying? That was a good interview, actually. That was cool, yo. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll be right. Sometimes, sometimes throughout the weeks, throughout the weeks, I just note shit that come in my head that I need to say in the interview. It's just like rapping. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Take no, but uh, FYB, FYB is a good ass nigga. I heard, I keep hearing that this nigga is really cool. Yeah, he, uh, like a good dude. He's telling the stories. People want to hear the story about Duck, about Vaughn, beefing with Vaughn. So you tapping into that Midwest when you're dealing with that cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole different demographic. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? How did they receive this, you over there? This is, this shit is like rapping. You know what I'm saying? And my partner called me from the gas station while I go and said, bro, nigga said, they just seen your new interview. Like a new album. <laughs> Where would you at when they talking about uh, over at Real Life? Uh-huh. <laughs> and they just kind of, and they just kind of like I said, it's like a new ad. Like they, they ran, they just see your new interview. This this is the rap stars. So you done flipped it out. Yeah, you seen that early when you and Big D did that interview. You didn't know what was going on at that point. She, you knew that you knew, I knew at the Big D interview, the first one. I, I, knew, three I, knew, my, I knew my artist was gone, so I had to be the voice. And you knew that. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Cause y'all had so much y'all had built up on it, huh? Instead of throwing it away, you no. be like. I've been fucking with Big D since 19. I had Adidas outfit on my first time going over there. Yeah. So you had already been messing with him? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Look, Ronnie did an interview with him, and I was the second interview he ever did. Damn. And then 2019, I went to real life. I did like 86,000. I did like, like 86,000. So you knew you had some? Mm-hmm. But Mo3 is always telling me to do that. He always told you to We do. got around people like, bro, talk. Talk like you be in talk, talk like you be in the car. So he's seen that in you. Yeah, yeah, I always tell people that. Like, talk. Like anybody around us, they be like, tell you, like, yeah, this always been my personality. Always. He was just alive. Somebody said that. Yeah. Um he, was it Lil Ronnie who's no No, I probably missed the Yeah, somebody yeah, this said this always been my personality. This, this no, Duro. That's it who, was Duro. That's it's who your said it. Duro. Duro, no, I always been. He said you yeah. always been like this. He's known you shit. a long he time. He said he don't know even like what they seeing is just who you are. He already right. know you. Yeah, he already know me. Then we and Duro and them used to hoop against each other. <laughs> that's who it was. It was yeah, Duro. It was Duro. Duro, Michael Crabtree. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Everybody used to hoop against each other. Nigga, that's hard, that. man. We grew, up, we grew up hoopers. But so so you okay? Let's let's take it let's take it there. Would you ever would have thought? When you was doing that with Big D, them first interviews, that today Big D and and Mo three will be gone. Uh -huh. Sean, can you say five o'clock? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that traffic. He gotta get back. Now he interrupting your interview. Yeah, I'm okay, but I'm gonna be bounce out. <laughs> yeah, <bye. laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, we talk all damn day. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying, man. What, did you think that, nah, that, that Big shit, D and Mo three would be gone? That should be screaming. Ooh. Yeah, it should be scared. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like my house right now, my house right now, the older you get, your house door turn into a portrait of like a obituary. Yeah, because he actually interviewed you in that house. Yeah. Nah, he didn't come to my new house. He didn't house. come to the new house. But now I'm saying just my house, you know, got mowed through in a while. Then my grandpa, the man that I've loved my whole life, he just died. It's and, memories. Yeah, memories. Then my cousin, Aria, 
she died of cancer, then you got, you know, you got just my mama's mama over here, he died, and this person died, you know, you know, like, I guess because my mom, my mama, that's my mama though, because you know, any house I get, my mama gonna stay with me. No, that's hard. You always say my mommy and my daddy. You always Look, say I that. got hit in the master bedroom. Of course, I'm upstairs like I'm in a like I'm uh, like I'm at eleven like years old again. Me and my daughter share bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool though. Yeah, it's cool though. Like 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 yeah, man. You think I you think I'm gonna get rich and leave my mama? No. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame. I, I, I will put my mama in this little old house. In, in a little old apartment, or I can get a condo downtown, and I'll be staying in this big old mansion, and and, and have and think I'm gonna have bitches and parties. And then I'm gonna turn into P Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> what you really need to do is buy a lot of property where you have the main house right here. That's your house with your family, and then your mom that's what can Boosie have did. her privacy Boosie did over that. here. Nah, but I, I need my mom downstairs. I can hear. Yeah, that's hard. I like She'll still saying? be on your property, yeah, so nah, you can go I, over I, there and go see her. I, well, now nah, I need to hear somebody accidentally slip and fall. Right. Somebody, something happened. I need to hear. Mm. I know that's right. You know what I'm saying? I agree, man. Man, my mama, all I got. Oh, your mama's still young though. Yeah, but I'm saying this period though. Like I, my mama, all I got. My mama, my mama been there since day one. So you think I need to be the same room with her? Wow. You know what I'm saying? I be down. I be down to sit there and and and, and live lavish. Live lavish, my mom was my mom, man. Hell, she nah. a heart. Yeah, she gonna be the one praying for me if I go in that hospital bed. See, these niggas keep on forgetting who gonna pray for them until they gone. These people keep on forgetting who go who when 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 the whole world turn against you, who who, who you go call. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I'll be a dumb man. You got me, man. I ain't no goofy. You know what I'm saying? By a long shot, I ain't no goofy. If I stay if I stay gone two or three days. Two or three days, like to this day, I can walk in the house at five o'clock. It's my house. I walk like at five o'clock in the morning, and my mama, my mama sit there and say, "I've been waiting on you come home." That's hard. Ain't nobody gonna do that. These bitches ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I agree. Yeah, Yo, you can't. You niggas gotta stop looking for the girl that go lay with you and the pray for people who go pray with you. Come on now, the boy. He, he yeah. might be a rapper. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That bars. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. I think that's dope, man. Uh, that you recognize that some people just don't get. Your mom said that too. No, my mom passed yeah. away, so that's See? why when, yeah. I, when you say stuff, yeah. I respect it because I was yeah. young when she passed away. Uh. So it's like I just respect what you're saying because everything you're saying is what you know. I wish I could have done. So mm-hmm. I really be over here thinking like that. She know it. Mm-hmm. I'm not even saying that. No, I got quiet. Once I get quiet, it's tough because yeah. I'm really thinking like, dang, man, I just man, think the back. best times. Like, that's my- dope that you get to do that, which I mean, you should enjoy that. Yeah, I got my kid. I have five kids probably running around. My oldest daughter, she, my oldest daughter, she, as soon as I got some money. See, I wasn't in her life to that much because I was in, I was going to them dumb ass shows. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And doing this from throwing, yeah. throwing parties and all this. So, as soon as I got stable, I moved with her and, and changed the whole life. So, you know, uh, some people got to be silent, man. Some people can't be selfish, you know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.